Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Let's open up some 151. Take a look at some sealed products. You can still pick up the low MSRP so we can have a nice margin of safety. Right now, all the hype is in store and shield. Let's not follow the crowd and be ahead of the curve. It's good to know people are willing to pay MSRP or above for a boost box during the period it sells out. Peak FOMO, use it as an opportunity to offload some risk in the future. First up, Battle Style, sitting at $124. This set is most likely gonna sell out this year. It's been rising up in value the past few months. I remember this set along with Chiller Ring and Fusion Strike just sitting at 70 to 80 dollar range for, for a year or so. It felt like forever. And that was like, you know, and that's the first lesson I learned in Pokemon investing is buy the lows. Buy at wholesale price once the boost box get there. Cause that's gonna be the lowest it's gonna go. You know, unless you can find some crazy deals online with coupons or whatever. Silver Tempest right now is already above MSRP and it has not sold out on Pokemon Center yet. But a year ago, it was just $110, so there was still opportunity to pick it up for much less than it is right now. On to Scarlet and Violet Era. Let's see how they're doing. Uh, I think this is going to be the best opportunity investments are going to be. Scarlet and Violet base set going for $90. Got as low as $73 in December. Mostly in flat, holding around that range of $85. Sword and Shield base set is going for $275, so let's see if this one can 3x in the future. Honestly, Scarlet and Violet has way better looking cards than base set Sword and Shield. Next up, how they evolve sitting at 111. This one got as low as $90 and slowly been rising in the new year. I think everyone's focused on this one in the Scarlet and Violet era. I think this is the best set thus far. Got the most valuable card in Magic Card. Well, not the, the most valuable, but one of the most valuable cards. So it's opportunity to pick up now while it's low. Next up, Obsidian Flames now at $100. Instant Fire sell to $90 within 30 days. This probably is going to be the worst set in Scarlet and Violet era. Probably Darkness of Blaze 2.0, which is still below MSRP four years after the release. You gotta be in there for the long game, but I would try to focus on quality sets that would appreciate much quicker. Next up, we got Paradox Rift sitting at $99. This one hit a low of also $90 instantly, but I think that had more to do with the unfortunate event of having to follow up to 151. Everyone was still eating up all the supply for 151 and not focus on Paradox Rift at all. I just slowly got into Paradox Rift just because I'm still focused on 151. But uh, you can saw it in the single situation where Roaring Moon, Iron Valent, Iron Hands all just shot up value just because there was no supply for the demand because those cards are very, very playable in the current meta. Next up, Temporal Force is going for $102. It's still the newest set, so give it some time to hit $90. Then we can kind of confirm that $90 is the new bottom for these Scarlet and Violet Arrow booster boxes. Let me know what you're planning to pick up, what you think the best deal is out there right now. Everyone's still focused on Sword and Shield booster boxes, right about MSRP or above MSRP. You know, but money is made when you buy it lower than everyone else. So let me know what you're picking up. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.